Now, very often you'll come across a situation where there is some amount of data that is missing. Now, irrespective of how careful you have been while collecting the data that is required for the analysis, you will always have some amount of missing data. Now, in R, missing data is represented by NA, which stands for not available. Now, it is neither a string or numeric or integer, but it is just an indication of the presence of missing data. Now, in this section, we will focus on the following three aspects. First is we will start by testing for missing data, right? That's the first step. You should know whether there's any data missing or not. Now, once we have done that, we'll look at how to omit that missing data so that we have a uh, data set that is complete. And in the third part, uh, we'll see how we can uh, exclude the missing data instead of omitting it and then perform our computations or analysis. Now, missing data has an impact on the computation or analysis. We'll see what is that impact when we come to that section. But we should note that whenever there's missing data, it will impact the results of the computations. And it is very important that we exclude the missing data from our computations. So let us begin by creating a vector that has missing value in it. We have named the vector vect1. Okay, and now let us call this vector so that we can see how R is displaying the missing value. Right, so here you can see in the fourth position we have NA, which indicates that the data is missing, right? Now we'll see two functions um, that will test for missing data. The first one is the is.na function, and the second one is the complete cases function. Now both these functions will return logical values and uh, they will be equal to the uh, length of the vector, right? So if you have 10 elements, then it will return 10 logical values. Uh, there's a slight difference in these two functions. The first one, that is is dot na, will test if uh, there's missing data, right? If in any element or any position there is missing data, and if the data is missing, it will return true, else it will return false, right? So let us test this function. So here you can see it has returned logical values equal to the length of this vector, right? So here we had six elements and here we have six logical values. Now in the position where we have, there's a fourth position where we have NA that is missing value, you can see it has returned true, right? Basically it's saying that, okay, it has uh, missing data in this data structure and it is in the fourth position. For the rest of them, it is false. Now the complete dot cases function does something very similar, but the output is uh, in contrast to the is dot na function. Just run this function and then we'll see what the difference is. Right. So here you can see that where we have the missing value that's in the fourth position, it has returned false. And for the rest of them, it has returned true. Right. So the complete dot cases function looks for uh, missing data. And if there is missing data in any of those index positions, it will return false for that position. Whereas for the rest of them where we have data, it will return true. Right. So you can use either of these functions and uh, you can figure out if there is any missing data uh, in your data structure. Now that we have learned how to test for missing data, let us go ahead and see how we can omit missing data from our data structures, right? So for this, we'll use a function called na.omit, which basically says omit all those missing data, right? Let us see what is the output when we use this function on our vector. Right, so here you can see the original length of the vector was six and we had na in the fourth position, but now we have a vector of length phi and the missing data has been removed, right? We don't have any in this vector. And we can also see it indicates the uh, position from where the missing data was removed, right? In this case, it is four. So uh, you can use the na.omit function whenever you want to omit uh, missing data from your structure. But uh, we may not always want to uh, sort of uh, omit the missing data, right? We might want to uh, keep the structure of the data as it is and still be able to perform computation. So uh, that's what we'll do now. We'll see how we can retain the missing data but still be able to perform uh, our analysis and computations. Now, if you try to perform some computation when there is missing data uh, in the data structure, you'll not be able to get the result, right? All the results will be basically missing data or you will have NA as the result. Um, let us look at an example. We'll try to compute the mean of the vector. 
and you can see the result is na now the reason is we have a missing data in the vector right now to solve this problem what we can do is when we compute the mean we'll add another argument which basically says remove the missing data and then do the computation right so this argument is na dot rm which basically indicates that the missing data has to be removed and we have set it to the value true now if you set it to the value false the missing data will not be removed and the result of your computation will again be a missing data or na but since we have set it to true now what r will do is r will remove the missing data and then it will compute the mean right so let us um, now run this code and now you can see we have the mean of that vector right so uh, whenever you have missing data if you don't want to omit it from your data structure you can always use the uh, na.rm argument it will ensure that the missing data is excluded while that computation is being done and you will get the result now if you don't do that the result of that computation will also be a missing value or missing data and you will get the result as na